Titan Quest Immortal Throne are a couple of our high-level goals were to continue the uh, story. In Titan Quest, we had this epic adventure that went all over the ancient world and even ended up in the heights of Olympus. And there were some areas of Greek mythology that we thought would be very fun to explore. We also wanted to add gameplay depth. So we've put in artifacts and scrolls. We've added a new skill mastery, which has created uh, eight new character classes. So there's a lot more gameplay depth and a lot more fun to be had. Titan Quest Immortal Throne picks up right where Titan Quest left off. The end of Titan Quest, after a lot of epic adventuring, you were in the heights of Olympus, you had just saved humanity and the gods themselves. The gods had said that they were going to pull back from the mortal realm and leave it to men. You portal down to Earth and you find out that things aren't quite as nice as you had hoped. Turns out you have to go questing into Hades itself. There's a huge army down there about to march on the surface world and enslave all humanity. Uh, the afterlife isn't working anymore and you know there's a lot of work for you to do. One of the nice things about using Hades as a setting for the game was it gave our team a lot of freedom to uh, interpret how it looked and how the creatures looked and uh, what the architecture was like and, and things like that. So we were able to uh, create some really unique looking environments to go questing in. The team was able to use a lot of their creative strengths to really create some interesting monsters. In Immortal Throne, the art direction we took for the underworld uh, is different than maybe some people might expect. Greek mythology actually has a lot of descriptions of Hades, and we uh, tried to stay true to that. But the look is a lot darker and edgier than Titan Quest was. In Immortal Throne, we spent a lot of time on quests. We have over 30 new quests in the game. We've added in a lot more scripted events to really make uh, the quests a lot more dynamic and exciting. We also have a uh, few quests where you get to fight side by side with some of the famous heroes of Greek legend, such as Odysseus and Achilles. I think people will really like the direction we've taken Immortal Throne. With the new skill mastery, the new levels, the deeper gameplay, the edgier look, uh, it's a great way for people to continue the epic adventure they started in Titan Quest. <laughs>